It's closed! Huh? No! Oh! I forgot I have a lot of keys! <laughs> huh? Ah! I need to do this quickly! Hi! Ah! Yes! I have the key! Ugh! Come on, come on, just work! Oh my, is this serious? You huh? don't have any escape! Please don't kill me! It's time for my revenge! Just shut up! Please, I didn't do anything to you! Have mercy on me! Just shut up! Huh? Wait! I have something you might like! These are my favorite vegetables! You can have it! What? Don't you see? These are my family! Uh, the only thing I could do is to eat you! Please, no! But first of all, I need to share my story. We could think that my origin comes from a chemical cross. I was a very young and amazed child with the world. And I saw you. You were the first being I saw. And therefore, I thought you were my father. But, oh, what a disappointment. Because you only knew how to mug me, and then you threw me off. I flew through the air, and suddenly I found myself with something very strange. It looked like a great gastronomic spectacle. It kept cutting things. It seemed an expert in the kitchen. But at the same time, it was very intimidating because it had me kidnapped. I even saw how it added broccoli to its experiments, which terrified me a lot. I saw in its eyes a desire to cook me. So, I started to feel a lot of fear. It wanted to use me as part of its recipes. I saw how it cut the rest of the vegetables and the only thing left for me was to escape. I had to get away from it urgently. Its face was that of a maniac killer. Oh, what a trivial moment. I managed to grab a lemon and splash some drops of it in its eyes. So then, I ran out of the kitchen as fast as I could. There was no time. Suddenly, I found an exit created by mice and slipped in there. When I thought I was safe, I saw Big Sai approaching through the door and although he tried to grab me, I managed to slip away and escape. I ran as fast as the wind until I turned around and saw no trace of him. I saw a door at the end of the path. So, I decided to peek in. But something touched my back, which scared me a lot. And when I realized it, there was a very strange snake behind me. That was it. It was my final breath. I was terrified. I was very scared. When I thought I would die in that instant, oh, I managed to escape and get out of there again. The snake was left on the other side. So, I continued on my way very calmly. I was finally safe. The snake couldn't eat me. I thought everything was going to be okay. I was happy, but not for long. Because when I thought I had left the snake behind, it managed to open the door and started chasing me through the ventilation. Again, I slipped through the door. But this time, oh, this time I was facing a much larger monster. It was a snail. I just screamed and started running and running and running again. That giant snail just wanted to catch me to eat me. I ran and ran as fast as I could. And suddenly, I also had a snake opening the door in front of me. So, I ducked and, for some reason, 
They ended up facing each other and fighting each other. It was a terrible battle and I was very scared. Those monsters seemed to fight for their lives. They were defeated and both were defeated. Oh, I found a path to the laboratory. So, I decided to take a look. I found a very strange scene. Red was about to shoot a girl with a super ray. It was very difficult to see. It had become such a peculiar monster. It seemed like a kind of violet kangaroo. I was fascinated by the way it looked. I was truly distracted by this violet kangaroo. And then, once again, a very big and strange blue monster tried to catch me and managed to swallow me. Again, my life was in danger. Oh, that monster had me and I was very scared again. He opened his mouth and then... Oh my god! I was inside of him. However, it seemed to be allergic to broccoli. So it ended up vomiting me out. I just had to crawl away. It Nana, seemed that this blue monster was here? preparing to meet its beloved. Oh, are those for me? How romantic. Thanks. When she approached him and was very close, oh. she felt something strange in his breath. His mouth was full of my body, that is, of tall Hector. It seemed that she didn't like it either. So she sent him flying and abandoned him. Navna was very sad. But when he realized that he still smelled like broccoli, he decided angrily to come looking for me. Oh, poor me. When he found me, he saw that I was with Red in his laboratory, begging him to transform me with his big ray. Navnav looked angry. But for some reason, Red calmed him down and pushed him aside. They had an intimate conversation, and after that, Red promised to transform me. But when he said it, he threw me off the table! Again! Oh, why? Why did they do that? I was stunned by the blow while they laughed at me. I felt so powerless that I decided to take control of the laboratory and transform myself on my own. I was sick and tired of everything. I grabbed the laser ray, pulled the levers, and then aimed at myself. All I did was wait, and the machine started doing its magic, while Red and Nav Nav left the laboratory. Red realized that something was missing, so he decided to return when he came back to it. He found my new version. Red and Nav Nav could only escape their fate. Now the monster looming over them was me. <laughs> they regretted what they had done, as did Snail and Snake, who were eating calmly in the cafeteria when Red screams interrupted them warning about my new transformation. They were alarmed too. No one, no one could face me. Not even the great Jeff Pixter escaped from my clutches. Pixter had to apologize to me, but even so, I decided to devour him just when I was about to do it. You appeared with your screams and commotion. And you started running away. Nothing and no one could escape the forces of nature anymore. Do you hear me? You will all know my greatest revenge. That's who I am now and I'm not going to stop. Hey man, I'm sorry that you feel that way, but we really do take care of vegetables. Uh? Um, what do you mean? You are just talking out loud. I'm serious. I have a vegetable garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Are you telling me the truth? Yeah.
Let's go there! See? This is all part of my work! I love nature! And also, see these beautiful creatures growing up? Look! This apple is now a creature! Oh, it's amazing! Oh. Love everything that grows from the ground. Look. <laughs> Hello, little broccoli. Look what I have for you. Whoa. Now you are part of the vegetable garden. Yeah, this is everything I want for my life. <laughs> oh no, Wobbly is dead. Who did this? Come on, wake up. It's useless. <laughs> What's happening here? This is terrible! We need to find the clues to resolve this mystery! Alright, it's time to play the detective role! These are our suspects! Mm, I'm gonna take a look at all of you! You! What? No, 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 no! Tell us the truth! I really am! Look! I'll tell you what I was doing! I was just eating some pizza on the cafeteria since it was my lunchtime! But even after finishing it, my stomach wasn't really satisfied. So I decided to eat a hamburger. I found one just in the cafeteria, and I was really close to getting it when I saw Chef Picture coming. So I decided to leave it alone. But afterwards, he thought there was something missing in his burger. So he went to look for some cucumbers in the kitchen. And that was my chance to steal it. That's my confession. I ate Chef Picture's hamburger. But that's it! That's the only thing I did wrong! I swear! Please don't kill me, huh? You traitor! It was my favorite lunch! Uh, uh, uh. Um, okay, nothing's here. Yeah, they couldn't make it. Now, who's next? What? You. No, why? I'm innocent. Please, just hear what I have to say, okay? I was downstairs in the lab trying to make some science and experiments. I must say I'm really good at that. Then suddenly, Snail appeared in front of my eyes. I just ignored her because she's really harmless. I continued my project but something weird happened. The whole thing had just blown up. And guess what? <laughs> Snail was laughing at me. I couldn't let her mock me so I brought on her back. Now that I think about it, I think it was her fault the project failed. So my revenge was coming. A series of events happened because of what I had written on her. I don't regret it though. It was really funny. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was a nice joke! So it was you! You made it! That's because you ruined my love project! You deserve it! <laughs> Anything to say? They are not what we are looking for. Okay, we must continue with the investigation. What? You! Me? No! I couldn't even kill a fly! <laughs> Just tell me the truth! Okay, okay! I'll tell you everything! I also like jokes and stuff like that. You guys know my food are the monsters, right? So I saw Fiddles chilling and I thought that was the perfect time to eat him. I tried chasing him. But he's a good runner, you know. I guess we kept running for like 10 minutes until he got really tired. That was my perfect moment to confront him. Oh, if only you could see the fear in his eyes. How delicious. I mean, yeah, I tried to eat him and I almost did. But he was saved by a miracle. How unfortunate. Are you serious? You're bad for what you've done. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Anything to say? No, I guess we are wasting our time. They are not guilty. The last one is you. <laughs> Wait, really? Tell us the truth. You made it. I created everything. What are you talking about? I'll tell you the whole story. 
None of the things the monsters told you have been really like that. Everything happened for a reason, you know. This is how it went. I lured Coach Pickles with a burger. That was really easy. I also added a secret explosive to Flynn's potion. Just because he messed up the whole project. I couldn't let that happen. I should be the only scientist in this place. And he wasn't suited for that position. That was fun. I also woke in the beast who saved Fiddles. You're welcome, by the way. To think I actually saved you. <laughs> I'm such a good person. And that's my alibi. I didn't have time to kill Opila. Ah, uh, not, uh, not again. Not again. <laughs> uh, 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 what? Where am I? No, it's time to judge you. No, please. <laughs> Hey, what's all that noise? I fell asleep. I needed to take my long nap. She's, She's alive! alive? Huh? But you will not! What? No! Ouch. Huh? Ah! Oh! Well, I guess we misunderstood everything. Oh. Ah.